Marshall T. Polk was born on May 15, 1831 in North Carolina, the nephew of President James K. Polk. His early accomplishments included graduating from West Point and spending four years on the frontier. When the Civil War broke out, he resigned from the United States Army to join the Confederacy. In his service, he earned the rank of captain, yet lost a leg at the Battle of Shiloh. After the war, Polk lived on a farm in Bolivar, Tennessee. During this time, he published the Bolivar Bulletin. Eventually, he was even elected state treasurer in 1877. In January 1883, Polk began taking money from the state treasury. With this money, he bought stock in the Louisville and Nashville Railroad and shares of Thomas O'Connor's Iron Companies in Alabama, among other things. One reporter even called the arrangement for handling state money in the Mechanics Bank of Knoxville to be casual to criminal. Eventually his crimes were discovered and Polk fled the stake, but he was captured near the Mexican border and brought back to stand trial. St. Clair Coyier defended him in criminal court. Even so, he was convicted of embezzling over $400,000 from the state of Tennessee and sentenced to 13 years in jail. He appealed these charges, but before the Supreme Court could hold the trial, Polk died suddenly due to heart conditions. He is now buried in Polk's cemetery.